Hey, it's your boy Crypto Expert Life back with another video. In this video, we're going to talk about the Ethereum merge. Actually, proof of work have got a plan for themselves. We're going to talk about the Luna C or Terra Luna Classic, the original one that you know had a huge dump and people got rugged, lost a lot of money. That has had a recent surge. We'll talk about why. I want to talk about a layer one blockchain that is really undervalued. I think it's going to do massive things in 2023. And guess what? It's cheap now. So you can buy it cheap while they continue to grow and build their blockchain in the bear market. Only good things will come once the bull market has arrived. And lastly, we're going to talk about a new machine Bitmain is releasing as they do. They run these machines first, they make all the money and then they start to sell them off at the end. So let's roll that intro and let's get into the video. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and bell notification. So when I upload my latest vids, you can get notified immediately. All right, guys, as you know that I done a video on the Ethereum merge. Now, this is a black swan event. OK, so Ethereum going from proof of work to proof of stake. This is not going to happen again, probably not in our lifetime. I mean, you know, there'll be updates, but this is a major, major event. And this is a black swan event. No, it's not a black swan that takes off and it, it flies into the sky. No, a black swan event is something that happens very rarely, uh, has big consequences, uh, and uh, this is what this event represents. Now, think of it as, you know, when Bitcoin split. Bitcoin split, uh, there was, you know, Bitcoin went its own way, and then Bitcoin Cash, they created that. And what what happened? When, when the chain um, split, guess what? We got two coins on each chain, right? And what did we do? We got a whole bunch of Bitcoin Cash for free. This is going to happen with ethereum when ethereum splits this will happen uh in one day 21 hours and three minutes and 36 seconds and you will get your proof of stake you know, ethereum so it will re remain as ethereum and then you'll also get for free uh proof of work or ethw and um to get that, you need to watch my last video or the video I did a couple of days ago about what to do. It's very simple. You just take your Ethereum, you send it to a participating, supporting centralized exchange like Binance or Coinbase or Kraken. And then you just wait and you get your uh, proof of work uh, Ethereum, the new chain that is uh, going to emerge and speaking of Emerge, uh, they have a plan in place to launch it. ETHW, which is what it's going to be called, Mainnet, will happen within 24 hours after the merge. The at ETHW Twitter account posted, the exact time will now be announced one hour before launch with countdown timer and everything, including final code, binaries, config file, nodes information, RPC Explorer, will be made public. So this is going to be exciting stuff for you guys that are um, miners out there and uh, want to see proof of work continue with Ethereum. Just follow them at Ethereum POW on Twitter for the official account. So this is their logo. So pretty much very similar to, you know, the Ethereum logo, but they've got these little other things here. So now we can differentiate between Ethereum and Ethereum proof of work or ETHW. Exciting stuff, guys. Exciting stuff. Okay. Luna C, uh, it pumped 200% in two weeks. So, you know, uh, you can read this article here on Crypto Potato. They've also always got some good information on this uh, website about crypto. But basically, why did it pump? Because um, they announced some staking. Uh, and they're still developing things uh, on the on the project, despite of what actually happened when uh, it took a dive from over a hundred dollars to now. If we go and have a look at the price, it's zero point zero 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 three two. Yes, down from one hundred dollars. <laughs> right, that is massive. But you know, this was just I don't know. Look, it just pumped recently, and then it's obviously people are taking profits again because if we look at it here. 
you know, went up to nearly six cents or 0 0.0006, my bad. And then it dumped back down to 0 0.0003. That's a lot of zeros. And um, so maybe it was just premature that people were just taking profits, obviously, double their money. Thank you very much. And then um, exit. So I, I don't know what's going to happen with this project. I mean, it's usually it's very hard to come by, uh, come back projects that have, um, you know, either rugged or dumped or whatever's happened, something has tragically happened to the project uh, and like you know, Terra Luna classic and um, I don't know I don't know what's going to happen to the actual long-term um, price appreciation of uh, Luna C so we'll see what happens obviously I won't be investing in it it's down 20% today but um, keep an eye on it okay the one that I'm talking about is near protocol or near ticker Ranked 25 on Corn Gecko, and it has a 3.918 billion dollar market cap. There's a billion coins uh, max supply, and circulating supply is 78%. So that is a lot of coins that's out out there, which is good. Um, the higher the circulating supply, it means more the coins are out there. You know, less. Um, inflation uh, emissions are down and yeah so this is a good thing uh, obviously there's a large supply but um, if we look at an all-time high of near in the past it did reach all-time high of 40 uh, 20 dollars and 44 cents now today it's um, four dollars and 99 cents or just five dollars and i think that this uh this layer one blockchain i think has a lot of potential i think it's going to be one of those ones in uh, 2023 which is only six months away is going to really really explode and i think we're going to see all-time highs uh, again so you know you're looking at a 4x 5x potentially a 10x they've got this near con uh 2022 live which is pretty much happening right now from in lisbon from september 11th to september the 14th it's september the 13th now and they're still continuing to work on their blockchain so low cost high speed effortless scale so they use sharding um, and enables a seamless scaling with minimal fees so this is uh not actually fully there's three phases of this is not actually in, you know in um, operation at the moment they're still going going through this process so they're working on this blockchain even in the bear market and they're starting to splash some cash around um, the NIA Foundation introduces $100 million fund dedicated to Web3 developers. NIA Foundation and Cicerus Ventures will launch $100 million fund and will support participants in the Web3 sector. They're doing things in Africa as well. Is it the Ethereum killer? Um, probably not. Um, but, you know, there's a lot of talk about NIA. Um, yeah, people like to compare uh, different blockchains and, you know, the Ethereum killer or... Uh, Bitcoin killer or you know whatever right they like to just compare them because there's they're uh, they're maximalist they try to you know kind of stick to each one kind of brand themselves and label themselves but really at the end of the day um, I, I don't do that I just like particular uh, tokens and um, I like them all across the board obviously I'm more bullish on book uh, Bitcoin because I think Bitcoin's going to be at one million dollars by 2030 but i'm not a maximus no i'm not a maximus i just think bitcoin is the best coin period okay so that's on near look out for that i think it's going to be a huge things in 2023 and if we just look at the uh max uh, ma market cap here so we're looking at you could round this off to four billion market cap right and it's a it's a layer one there's plenty of money in this so it's not going to go away it's just going to keep on growing but if we look at that compared to you know layer ones, there's only four billion in this. It's it's really a small amount of money compared to you know the likes of things like Ethereum, which market cap is two hundred six billion. Nier Nier has only got four billion. Solana's got thirteen billion. And even though Solana is a a good blockchain, it's just um, they're unreliable right now. The network constantly goes down. So. Um, you know, even Polygon, six, nearly seven billion market cap. So Near has potential growth. Even Avalanche is more than Near, uh, and they've got six point three billion. So, 
Now, we're, we're talking layer ones right here, right? You know, a lot of development, um, huge uh, development team and looking at being one of the top tier layer ones in the future. Three, 3.9 or 4 billion is, is nothing. This can potentially do a 10x. Um, we're looking at a you know, 39, 40 billion dollar market cap. Now, that's not going to happen overnight. It's going to take several years to get to that, okay? So I'm not saying it's going to go 10x. I'm not going to say it's going to go to like $50 by next year. No, it's going to, it's going to take several years, uh, 23, 24, maybe even 25 to get to you know $50. But you, know, you guys should be thinking the long game anyway. You, people that don't think the long game, you guys are are really doing yourself a injustice this is how crypto is played it's the long game okay that is how it is done in crypto so um look out for near big things coming uh you just need to buy it and uh hodl it in my opinion okay lastly uh bitmain they're bringing out their uh ka3 ant miner so this is going to be kda miner they've just done a post on the official twitter account on September the 8th, but they didn't sort of, they're kind of just like dangling the carrot. They didn't say uh, the specs. So the specs is going to be like everything, right? So what is this thing going to put out? And what's it? What's the terahash and what's the uh, power consumption? Now, here, they've got here, right? You can tell kind of like a little bit about what it's going to kind of put out, right? So it's September the 13th, which is 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is today. This thing's dropping today. And they've got here one, then they've got a question mark and six. So I think that this is going to be like a, a hundred and something, hundred and, I don't know, 20, 130, 140, 50, six. So they've, this digit is missing, terahash. And then the power, the, the watts, um, the consumption of the watts will be obviously high. Like the current top KDA miner at the moment, this is the one that makes the most money currently in the market. It's in gold shell. So gold shells produces KD, uh, KD Max, and I think that, um, yeah, they're really, <laughs> Gold Shell should be worried, because you know what Bit Bitmain does, they really kind of just saturate the market with these miners, all right, so if we look at the specs on um, Kadena, it's 40 terahash, right, with uh, 3,350 watts um, consumption, and, and if we go back to uh, this one here, right, so this is already in the hundreds, it's a three digits. So, you know, the, let's just say it's 116. So basically 3x this, 3x this. Now this price here is, it's about it's 11,200 on Gold Shell website. And then if we look at this, if this thing puts out three times, well, let's just say it puts out 120, just to make it easy. This puts out 40. So it's 3x. This could potentially put out 3x, so it'll be probably around about 35 or 40 dollars a day. All right, this new miner, you know, based off you know the terahash. Um, so you know, it probably will, based off that, or it could sell for you know 25 grand, 30 grand, because this thing currently sells for uh, 12,200, and it only puts out. Um, 40 terahash. So I'm thinking this thing's going to be at least 120 terahash or 116 terahash. It's going to be, they're going to be selling this thing for at least 25 grand. This one here, the KA3. So we're going to find out today. I'll do another video on this one. But basically, you know, Kadena, I think I've already done a video on Kadena. I've already spoken about Kadena. I think it's one of the most undervalued blockchain layer ones, proof of work coins out there that can do everything. It can do, uh, it's got 180,000 transactions per second. It can do up to that. It's, it's actually 20 blockchains or 20 chains. Uh, it can do NFTs. It can do smart contracts. It's got a very simplified uh, coding language, much simpler and better than Solidity. And it can do uh, smart contract updates on the fly. So you don't need to migrate to a new contract. All right. So kadena has got a lot of uh, a lot of benefits. It's just that it's so new in regards to uh, adoption wise. Okay, they need to expand their blockchain again, like Nia, very you know newer anyway than Ethereum. 
Um, they just need to work on building out the infrastructure. And same with Kadena, they're still very small compared to the other layer ones, and they just need to build out the infrastructure. So that is the opportunity, buying them early now. Um, and even just buying Kadena, I'm, I'm super bullish on Kadena long term anyway. So that's just um, some updates today. Very exciting stuff happening. Again, if you haven't done your Ethereum, um, if, you, if, you don't, if you're not doing this, I don't know, well, you must have rocks in your head. This is not going to happen ever again. It's free money. So um, if you still haven't done it, I don't know what, what you're doing. Go and um, watch that uh, video. I explain very, very simple terms of what you need to do, okay? All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button and that uh, bell notification and um, share if you can do that. That really help the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Hey guys, welcome.